With the pre-chat form, you are able to collect essential data that you can save towards the user's custom field even before the user sends an initial message. The way to do so is to enable the pre-chat form, then go towards the pre-chat form settings. And from here, you will be able to adjust your form heading. So if we press the icon, you will see that the form heading will be displayed on top. And then we will have our different kinds of form fields. You will be able to customize these to your own liking. So if you want to add a field, we will be able to choose from these different kinds of types. So we have the short and long text, we have the email, URL, phone, we have a number, we have a date, choice, multiple choice, and a drop down type. So if we want to basically ask for the last name as well, it's easily done. Just add a short text, then press the edit mode. From here, we can go with the last name. And inside the placeholder, we can just give an example of a last name or let the user know that they need to type here. For example, you can also give a hint and this hint basically goes below the label itself. You can also say whether or not this field is a required field. And if so, you can also set the width. If you select anything but full, the fields will display horizontally instead of vertically. And this allows you to set up more form settings and display it in a nice looking manner. If done and you want to add more fields, you can just press the add field. And if you want to enable a start message for users to start typing a message and then enter the chatbot, you are able to do so as well. The message itself from the user will be stored in the system field called last text input. And this can be used inside the chatbot as well directly. You can also disable this. And if you want to capture only essential details before the user enters the chatbot, then you can do so as well. One thing to note is that on every field, you can save the value to a custom field of your chatbot. So this way you can save the essential data towards the user's profile directly. In the next video, we're going over the settings section inside the web chat widget.